Marie Sheehan sings as the gays take over Coyle Park. It's the big gay out. Hi everybody, welcome to Gay Talk tonight's coverage of the Auckland Pride Festival. Tomorrow is one of the cornerstone events, it's called The Big Gay Out, and one of the performers who's going to be singing there tomorrow is Marie Sheehan. She's releasing a new album this coming week, I'll talk to her in just a second. But in the meantime, what exactly is The Big Gay Out, and what can we expect? The Big Gay Out has been a popular event since its inception a decade ago. Thousands of people from our rainbow communities and their families arrive at Coyle Park in Point Chevalier for a day of fun, music and food. Traditionally, it plays host to the country's leaders, including the Prime Minister. Both Helen Clark and John Key have visited the event and shown their support for the gay communities. This year, it's hosted again by the Get It On campaign and its spokesperson, Joe Rich, explains what we can expect. Joe, thank you for joining me. Great to have you here. So we're going to be talking about the Big Gay Out, one of the um, major events of the festival. Just tell me, give me a little bit of the flavour and the colour of what we can expect. Uh, well, you can expect the big, the Get It On Big Gay Out this year to be bigger, better, and more fabulous than anything we've done before. We've really gone all out to try and secure some great headline acts. We've got Brooke Duff, Marie Sheehan, Kids of Eighty Eight, who are really big supporters of the gay community and we're really excited to have them on board. Uh, we've got a marketplace that's already sold out, lots of different stores on board this year. Um, some new ones like Picnic Box, who are gonna be making up picnics for people to buy and enjoy on the day. Uh, we've got kids face painting, we've got all sorts of things going on. What are you most looking forward to on the day? Is there something that's kind of stood out for you more than anything? Yeah, oh, I'm most looking forward to uh, Kids of 88 on the main stage. I think it's gonna be a fantastic performance. W what is it you like about them? What's the uh, I just, I love the music, it's, uh, it's very relevant, it's, uh, you know, they're big supporters of ours, so yeah, it'll be great. So let's uh, talk about the Get It On campaign, so obviously it's about safe sex, and it's been involved with this event for a little while, so, so what are the main things that you're um, trying to emphasise during the Big Gay Out, and also during this Pride Festival time? The key message for us during uh, the Big Gay Out, and during the Pride Festival, is about love your condom, reinforcing the importance of condom use. Uh, we know that uh, 1 in 15 gay or bi men in Auckland has HIV and 1 in 5 of those doesn't even know it. Uh, so the importance of condom use has never been, um, never been more important than it is now. Joe, thank you. Um, looking forward to the, to the event. I think it'll be fantastic. Yeah, thanks. Look forward to seeing you there. Uh, now, as I mentioned before, Marie Sheehan will be performing tomorrow at the Big Gay Out. She's releasing a brand new album called Chasing the Light that's in the next few days. Here's what she had to say about it. You are there, far in the, the album's called Chasing the Light. It's a 10-track album. Um, all the songs are predominantly written by me. Um, it's the first album that I've ever produced. And it's an album that I'm really proud of because I feel as if Chasing the Light is um, a very honest attempt, well not attempt, an honest portrayal of my songwriting and um, and my vocal ability. Um, yeah, and it's kind of come from a place of a, a really kind of spiritual, soulful place for me. It's apparently clear, I am struggling. In the album, there are moments where it's very, very light and, you know, fun and summery and reggae and all those sorts of things. But also in the album, you'll find that there's songs there that are primarily piano driven um, and they're more kind of sad, sombre and in some parts quite dark. Um, so you get a you get a kind of variety of, of songs in there. Um, you know, for instance, That's What I Prayed um, and How Do I Say Goodbye are two songs that were written a few years ago when my grandmother passed away and then a month later one of my best friends passed away who was my age. Um, and those songs are really about dealing with grief. Not only my own grief, but a lot of the grief that I saw around at the time. So you've got songs like that. Um, and then on the flip side, you've got things like Rock With Me, which is all about having fun with friends, and it's, um, you know, it's far lighter. For the Pride Festival um, 2013, I'm playing at Big Gay Out, so I'm headlining 
there, which I'm really enthusiastic, I can't wait. It's gonna be a great day, fantastic. It's always a great day to play the gay out. Um, and then a couple of weeks later, I'm doing the gig at Tabac on the 20th of February as part of the Pride Festival. And um, last week or a couple of weeks ago, I got asked to be on the lead float for the parade, which is gonna be so much fun, I can't wait. So those are three major things that I'm gonna be doing for the Pride Festival. Marie's new album is available for download on iTunes, and of course she'll be performing tomorrow at The Big Gay Out. Well, hopefully the weather will be fine tomorrow, but if not, rain or shine, it will be going ahead. Now, also kicking off tomorrow is Urge Bar's Bear Week, that's B-E-A-R, and so we'll be covering that tomorrow. See you then. Mm -hmm.